Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Dan from DHTV. And if you want to know how to install iOS 26 on your iPhone, this quick step-by-step -step tutorial, I'll show you exactly how to update your iPhone to iOS 26 safely and easily. Let's get started. Now, before we begin the software update of iOS 26, you do need to prepare a few things to ensure this update goes smoothly. So I strongly recommend you watch the entire video. First, pull down from the top right of your iPhone. Ensure that you have your Wi-Fi turned on. It does work over the air with 5G on some occasions, but it is best to be using Wi-Fi just to have a more consistent and it won't burn through your space. You also need to have at least 50% battery or more depending on which iPhone you have. If you don't plug it up to a charger, get up to that percent and keep it plugged in through the entire update. Additionally, it's a strong recommendation that you back up your photos, your videos, and things like that. You don't want to lose them. I've only had this happen once in like 10 years, but it could happen to you if something goes wrong. So back up your important information first. Lastly, make sure you have enough space on your iPhone. So open up the settings here, go to the section where it says general and then tap on iPhone storage. And here you'll see everything that is using up your space on your iPhone. For my particular update on the iPhone 16 Pro here, it's saying the update's about eight gigabytes, so I'll need at least maybe eight to 10. So free up enough space there. You can offload apps or delete photos, videos, see what's taking up the most space, remove things if you don't have enough space on your iPhone. Once you have everything prepared here, the next step is actually installing iOS 26. So for this, we're gonna open up the settings on our iPhone, tap on software update. It's going to pull up an update like this. Now I am on the beta. You don't have to be. I'm choosing to have the beta so I can get the latest version of iOS. Yours will just say iOS 26. If you have betas off, it's the same thing for everybody's iPhone. You can tap update now. There may also be an option down here, depending on if they do, software updates for iOS 18. You can stay on iOS 18, you can update it first. Otherwise, you're going to just go through this list to read about it and tap update now. It'll prompt you to put in your passcode, so go ahead and do that. And at this point, scroll down through these terms and conditions, tap agree, tap agree again and it's going to request the update. Now, while it's preparing the update, you'll see some estimates here as well. It does take somewhere between five and 30 minutes, depending on how many people are updating, the type of iPhone you have and your internet speed. So let it do its thing. You can technically still use your phone and then return to this when you believe it's done or when it prompts you that it's done, but just don't turn off the phone or let it run out of battery while this process is happening. All right, so the update has completed. You'll see this pop up here. We're gonna tap install now. It's gonna verify that update. Again, anytime you see these loading screens, just let it do its thing. Don't unplug your phone or anything like that. So it's finished verifying the iPhone has shut itself down. Now, one thing to keep in mind while it shut itself down, it's going to turn on a few times, turn off a few times, load. You'll see some bars maybe. Let it do its thing. At this point, you don't want to be using your iPhone. Keep it plugged up to the charger if you have it. Don't turn it off. Don't start playing with it. Let it do its thing. You'll see this bar. Again, I'm going to speed this up so you don't have to watch the entire thing. But if you do run into issues, let me know in the comments. I'll help you out. And we'll be back when iOS 26 has installed. And there we are. iOS 26 is installed. It took about 20 minutes. Maybe it took exactly 26 minutes. Not sure. We'll swipe up. It'll prompt you for face ID or passcode. And there you go. Your iPhone has been updated to iOS 26. Tap continue here. We'll go through a couple of things. You can set up your payment services if you want. I'm never going to share my information or analytics with Apple. It's just a personal preference. And here we are, some features within iOS 26. You can choose the notifications to summarize. I'm just going to say not now. I'll be going through a lot of these tutorials on my channel. So if you're interested in learning more about iOS 26, the new iPhone 17s and everything like that, check my channel and I'll show you exactly how everything works on these phones. So we're going to skip here as well. We don't need to set those up just yet. You can set these up. I have some videos already on these things. There we go. Liquid glass. And that's how these apps are looking now. Pretty cool. They look nice. They kind of have like a popping effect, a liquid effect, but let's just double check here. We'll open up our settings here. Let's go down to general 
and then we're going to go to software update and it's going to check for that update once again this time around we want to see that we are up to date ios is up to date to ios 26.0 i did update to the beta just because i keep the beta on this phone i do have the full version on my other phone you'll see up to date as well depending on when you're updating whether it's now or a little bit later either way this is how you update your iPhone and install iOS 26. If you ran into any trouble, like you're not seeing the update or it's failing, sometimes you may have to restart the phone. This is some troubleshooting with different iOS updates. You can try restarting your phone. You can also try logging out of iCloud, log back in, then restart the phone, and then go back down to general and try to run that software update. That has worked in the past too with some errors. Also keep in mind that not all iPhones support iOS 26. Older iPhones technically and generally lose support for these newer updates. If you have an iPhone 17 Pro Max, iPhone 17 Air, those ones should come pre-installed with iOS 26. However, if you have an iPhone 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, they should all be available. The older iPhones like the iPhone XS, the iPhone X and older like that are ones that don't really support these. If you want the full list of iPhones that are supported for iOS 26, there is a link in the video description. You can click on that. It'll show you which iPhones can update to iOS 26 and which ones do not support it. So that way, you know exactly why there is an issue. And that may be the reason why you're not able to install or update iOS 26 on your iPhone. But again, if you have any issues, let me know in the comments. If this video helped you out, hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel for more iOS 26 tips, tricks, and tutorials, as well as iPhone 17, iPhone Air tips, tricks, and tutorials, and a ton more to help you get the most out of your iPhone. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.